Joining us now in a CNBC exclusive is eBay's president and CEO, Jamie Iannone. Uh Jamie, always good to have you. Let's just start off with that fall in the stock price because it was notable. It was a fairly significant drop. Um, and, I mean, simply put, if I could, I guess those who were selling the stock perhaps were doing so on the belief that, you know, your, the, the GMV increase you saw, driven in part, they would argue, by the pandemic, is not durable. Uh, how do you answer that, uh, that belief? Yeah, look, you know, first, it's important to recognize the quarter. We grew 38 percent in the quarter in revenue. We haven't grown at that level since 2005. GMV grew at 24 percent. Uh, and even if you look at our outlook for Q2, it has us growing $4 billion in GMV year over two years, so a sizable amount of growth. So we actually feel great about where the business is. It's important to take a step back and look a year ago. The business was contracting at 2%. Now we're a $10 billion business. We've added over $2 billion in revenue over the last 12 months. Payments and advertising is allowing revenue to grow even faster than GMV. We're now a top 20 advertiser, even though our main business is in e-commerce. But I think the most important thing is that our core playbook is working, and we're expanding it to other categories. Take a category like sneakers that had been declining double digits, and now it's grown triple digits four quarters in a row. And so we've only just gotten started with a single-digit percentage of our GMV on this new playbook, and it makes us very optimistic for the future of eBay. Yeah, tell me a bit more about some of those uh, those verticals that you've been uh, creating. I guess, you know, one to come to is trading cards. Uh, you know, and again, I come back to this idea, is this ephemeral or is this something that you believe is going to be with us for quite some time and therefore you're going to continue to see the kind of growth you already have? You know, collectibles is a core category and trading cards is a key part of that. We've already done a billion dollars in GMV in the first quarter. And that's more than we did in, in half of all of last year's record-setting levels. So we actually think collectibles will continue to be an important focus for us. If you think about the business, we've really shifted to non-new and season. It's a $500 billion total addressable market, and we're only high single-digit, low double-digit penetrated. So we have lots of opportunity for growth, not just in an area like collectibles, but in a lot of our big categories where we haven't even yet rolled out our playbook. Think motors, parts, and accessories, fashion, electronics, lots of opportunity and runway ahead for eBay. And now we just saw a graphic that showed you know, your uh, active buyer counts about 187 million globally, up 7%. There it is again. Uh, and over the last year, you added 13 million buyers. I mean, can you continue at that pace? Again, back to the overall concern of those who sold the stock, there seems to be a belief that your growth overall, uh, both in GMV, but also in the marketplace itself, is going to slow. Yeah, when you look at those new buyers we acquired, the 13 million new buyers, another record-setting number, what's great is that their behavior is similar to buyers before the pandemic. So they didn't just come to us for one and done and actually to buy PPE or something like that. They actually are sticking around and turning into enthusiasts. Importantly, as we're changing the customer experience all across eBay in our focus on non-new and season. So take certified refurbish. It now comes with a two-year warranty, 30-day hassle-free returns, and eBay money-back guarantee. It's growing. We're authenticating watches. That grew at 16% last quarter, now growing at 38%. When you think about payments and the ability to have one integrated experience, we're really changing the buyer experience, and that means these cohorts are going to be really healthy for a long time. Jamie, it's Morgan. I'm glad you just brought up payments and this uh, changing the buyer experience. I mean, eBay's obviously been focused on scaling out this managed payments piece of the business. I mean, given the fact that you parted ways with PayPal a couple of years ago, when you look at that company or some of the others in the payments processing space, cryptocurrency is taking on more attention. It's, it's being adopted. How are you approaching that at eBay? Yeah, you know, one of the great things about our managed payments is we're expanding the types of payments that we take. So we now take Apple Pay and Google Pay, more chores for buyers. We'll continue to look at other options like cryptocurrency. You know, one of the great things about eBay is when there's a new trend, it just shows up on eBay. That's what we're seeing in areas like NFT, which we're um, looking at how can we explore that better because eBay is really known as the place to transact goods. You know, with 187 million buyers on the platform, this is the place that sellers come to get scaled demand. And we're really happy. The seller growth as well was incredibly strong in Q1. And we're really pleased with how sellers are migrating to the platform, taking their offline business and bringing it online and getting access to the world's reach through eBay. So does that mean that you're getting into the NFT business? You know, we're looking at it and exploring opportunities for how we can enable it on eBay in an easy way. When you think about collectibles, everything that's really collectible has been on eBay for decades and will continue to be for the next few decades.
How long do you think it will take you to try and understand how to actually make that work, if you make it work? Well, you know, there's parts that are already transacting on eBay today, people are already transacting. And so what we're all about is how do we enable and take out the friction in the experience? So everything that we're doing in our playbook is how to make eBay simpler for buyers. We're acquiring a lot of new Gen Z buyers through things like our sneakers, where they're coming on and they start buying in one category and then they start buying across the whole site. Right. All right. Well, finally, back to sort of the macro picture. And you were asked about it on the conference call, Jamie. I mean, you talk about mobility, which in a sense means kind of return to more normalcy. Uh, and it may have impacted your ability to accurately forecast the future, which is always hard. So how are you feeling about it right now, you know, in terms of what you see out there with mobility and stimulus and obviously how your, benef your business benefited from things that occurred previously and how you look at what is coming? Yeah, look, it was an unprecedented year, but we laid out this tech-led reimagination last July, and we're nine months into it, and we're just getting started. So category by category, what we're doing is changing the NPS and the customer experience. Buyers and sellers are following, and then GMB grows out of, as a result. So we announced, for example, in trading cards, not only is the business strong, but we're leading in with computer vision, image-based scanning. So that'll take three quarters of the time out of how do you list a trading card on eBay, because we'll actually figure out all that information for you. So we think there's lots of growth in an area like collectibles. We also announce customized and personalized. We're now sellers. We sell millions of these items, but we've made it a whole lot easier on the platform. Another new category. But if you think about it, we've only touched a single digit percentage of GMV with this playbook, and we're going to expand it to all of our major categories over the coming quarters and years. That's lots of growth opportunity for eBay. Yeah. I have an old Meg Whitman uh, eBay trading card. I'm not kidding. I have no <laughs> idea. Does that actually have value? Do, do ex-CEOs of oh, eBay, does oh. that have any value, Jamie? Oh, absolutely. So uh, you'll find a new, better trading experience when you try it out with our new selling experience. You'll have an easier uh, time getting paid because we've now integrated payments. I hope you use our new advertising platform that's doing a billion dollars of GMV. So you're experiencing the new eBay, and I, I encourage you to sell the card, and we can talk about it the next <laughs> All time. All right, maybe on. we'll do that. Finally, you've mentioned ads a few times, obviously. People took note of Amazon's quarter, certainly. I mean, how much of an opportunity do you really see in terms of ramping up advertising as an overall percent of your revenues? It's a massive opportunity for us. You know, if you look at it, we're only, a, you know, 1% of GMV through our advertising business. And so we think there's an opportunity to, to have, uh, you know, if you look at comps, kind of single to mid-digit percentages of GMV. But more importantly, the ROAS, the return on ad spend our sellers are seeing, is very, very attractive for them. So that, I believe there's a lot of room. We grew 58% last quarter in promoted listings, and we rolled out three new features. We're rolling out a cross per click, opportunity that we're testing now. We're rolling out advertising for auctions, and we're rolling out off eBay advertising, where we're co-funding advertising opportunities for our sellers. So we believe there's lots of opportunity. We're already a top 20 advertiser, but we think there's lots of growth and the ability for revenue to keep outpacing GMV because of what we're doing in advertising. Well, Jamie, appreciate the update, keeping an eye on the stock price as well. Uh, thanks for joining us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.